there are a lot of people who have uh, Jeep SRTs and they don't use the uh, shifting system to the best of its ability. So let's say you're driving around in sport mode. Um, one thing that you can do that they don't really, you know, they don't tell you how the damn thing works. So you have to figure it out based on, you know, people on the internet. But um, if you're driving and um, you see I'm driving and I'm in gear seven, the gear is next to the D. Um, if I want to uh, put the vehicle into downshift race mode so that I downshift, I can drop the gears all the way to three simply by pushing all the way down with my um, gas foot and quickly letting go. And what that does is it forces the car to go all the way down to lower gears and gives you a burst of power while you're driving. So like, let's put that in action. So what I'm doing is I'm driving, I'm still in S7, Sport Mode 7. And what I do is I wanna drop the gears down low. So what I do is I take my right foot and I press the gas real hard all the way to the end and then I let go. So watch this. So when you do it just once, you'll see the gears dropped all the way to four. Let me push all the way down again. Oh, this guy's getting away from me, good job. Hear the, you can actually hear the uh, transmission rev. You can actually hear it. It goes, Ee! this is definitely my favorite driver, especially for winter conditions. Absolute favorite. Absolute favorite. So it'll stay in gear four, it'll stay in gear five. Let's wait until we get a couple of these people away from me very easy to handle with just one hand. See, that's the reason why you don't want any of those really light GM cars where everybody's talking all the shit about how well they turn. Because the thing about it is, when it comes to having all that power, you also want to be able to, you know, stay pointed straight. You don't want to be spinning out into ditches like these stupid Corvettes. You know, because they're always in ditches. Like, get from behind this guy. So the, the computer also knows to raise the gears back to seven. It also knows to do that after a while because it doesn't want to drive around in four too long. So gradually it'll raise the gears back. Eventually it may even decide to turn sport mode off and return to regular drive, especially if you initiated sport mode using the paddles because it makes the assumption that you accidentally use the paddles. So right now you can see it's S mode seven. I'm gonna step on it. You know, it's like, it's just one of those little tricks that I noticed because just being in sport mode alone doesn't cause the computer to behave that way. Funny thing is, like, say you get one of these shitty Nissan uh, uh, Maximas, or say you get one of these crappy Hondas, and they've got this silly little fart can elephant noises on, and they try to keep up with you, and then they realize they absolutely can't. Like, you'd be in six gear doing like 90 miles an hour, and, and they're trying to catch up, but they just can't. It's, it's a shame. And it's like, how the hell does that thing is so big? And it moves so fast. It's like, how does it move so fast? It's so big, it moves so fast. How is that possible? It's like, when they put that goddamn supercharger on this thing, this thing is going to be so ridiculously madness. It's just going to be just insane. I'm waiting. I'm so waiting. I got the money ready. I'm waiting. I got the, I don't give a fuck if it's $1,500 a month. I've got the money. Give it to me. Just give it to me. Hurry up, FCA. Hurry up. Hurry up. I need it. Come on, goddammit. Let's go. Don't make me jump up on you. Oh, man. Listen to that transmission. You can hear that shit, too. Woo! It's a little jerky. Woo! Jesus. <laughs> Ain't 
this up. Oh no, there was an accident. Oh man, you see, the problem is merging at the. Oh shit, look how many cars! Oh my god! Jesus Christ, look at all these cars! Navigator, holy shit! And look who's in charge of it all! God damn Nissan! A shitty Nissan Maxima. You see? You see? That's what I was talking about. That's exactly what I was talking about. Goddamn Nissan Maximus wrecked all his damn cars. I can't believe this. This is what happens when you're not driving American muscle. <laughs>